Disco. About two in the afternoon, here at the mall, about to catch some lunch, try to finish this second job in time to get to the radio station to promote the shows coming up and the new album. Quick entry, just got done working all day, it's like 7.15, I gotta run down to KGNU to promote the shows coming up. Man, this racing around has got me exhausted. Tomorrow I have the whole day off, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. I'm not gonna edit or make beats or anything like that, maybe. Unless I really feel like it. Life's crazy right now. Just made it to KGNU. Place used to make me really nervous when I was a young rapper. Just being on the radio and freestyling and stuff. It'd be really fun to go in there after, you know, 10 years of doing stuff like this. It's definitely a less nerve-wracking. And brings back a lot of good memories of the beginning of my career. So, 88.5 KGNU. Here we are. We made it. Wednesday night, I'm gonna play with two Who's of my groups. I'm gonna bring Glitter Kings out. There's gonna be a lot of other acts, so I'll let you get to that. I'm gonna do, a, I got a solo album coming up soon. I'm putting a lot of work into it, so I'm just trying to uh, kind of start on a new foot in the solo career. Nice. Even cool. though it's been nice playing in groups. Yeah, I've been enjoying the, uh, the Day in the Life videos you know, that you've been putting out on YouTube for sure. Cool. Oh, thank cool. you. Innovative. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, for hold sure. on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, what's, what's happening next? So. Yeah, this uh, May 31st, it's uh, Hip Hop Wednesdays at the Boulder House in uh, downtown Boulder. Mm -hmm. We got uh, the Glitter Kings, his other group, mm. and myself, those 11. Small Hands is in the studio here tonight, what too. What up, what up? Uh, right. Stoic, Zoe, True Vintage, and DJ Bunch of Grief. This Wednesday night, it's going on at 8 p.m., Free show. A Louis belt and never eat that pain. Won't eat that pain. But I won't purchase when that day is jerky. That day is jerky. Pull off at churches with Pirelli skirts. So let's, what else we got? We got my man right here, Whiskey Blanket, Glitter Kings. Jordan Polavina. That's, uh, Jordan. Uh, uh, I'm just going by my real name nowadays. I'm okay. So what was, what was it before? Uh, I used to be called Funny Biz. Okay. I don't you drink just, and do drugs anymore and go crazy. Damn thing I just funny work. Anymore, man. I just work and work and Grinding. work and work. Grinding. Constant. Yeah. Artist formerly known as Funny Biz. That's right. Yeah. So people still come up to me and say, Funny Biz. I'm like, no, no. No. Serious he's, Biz. He's no. dead. He's dead. I am no, just me. Serious. I got a new track. I got a bunch of shows coming up. Um, nice. What you got in the works? Uh, I got this Wednesday at the Boulder House. A bunch of rap with Glitter Kings and a solo performance. Um, I got Whiskey Blanket at a venue called Your Mom's House. Let me clarify okay. that in Denver. I'm playing there twice. I'm on the 2nd cool. and the 8th. So nice. I'm playing with Whiskey Blanket on the 2nd and then with Grim and Darling Band uh, on the 8th. That's with Reason the Citizen, who uh, I just did a collaboration with. <coughs> <clears throat> and uh, other than that, I got some like scattered solo performances here and there. If, if you're out there booking, I'm actually taking everything for a solo mm. right now. Okay. So usually I parties. usually I have a price, but yeah, dude, the quinceañeras, the kids parties, I'll do it all, yeah. bro. I, I'm cool with it. I do them. Anything. I mean, other than the fact that I, I have that restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I'm just trying I to get. I would do them if I didn't. I've been have playing that. in groups my whole career. I've been playing in groups for like 13 years, and uh, nice. and I've never really had a chance to just really focus on a record that was all mine, cool. and and so. So you're working on some new studio music, obviously. Yep. Um, I'm down at Violet. Uh, Violet Studios with Chris Wright. 
And um, um, what are you, are you going to be releasing an EP, a full length? I think what I'm going to do releasing? a full length. I'm going to take a year on it. Okay. I just released like a 10-track album that was kind of just some frustration. You can check it out on SoundCloud under Jordan Polavina. But uh, it's just some frustration about the industry, the country, what the world. And with, gent- as far as Ooh, that sounds wise. like good stuff. <clears throat> uh, too much selfishness. Selfishness. I was too much selfishness in this in industry. The, There's a lack of community, and there used to be a, a bigger community feeling in the hip hop game. We're in the era of uh, selfishness. Yeah, in general. I mean, when you think about, you know, I was just just hearing all this terminology last night, and it just made me think of selfies and and all this like, you know, uh, inward attention. And stuff. It is. Like, it's it's been, really the generation right now. It's been building up since uh, the '80s when they got away from. Uh, um, you know, the the in the 80s, it became the me generation. It became like okay mm-hmm. to start flaunting again. Yeah, there was there was a bit of there was a, a good deal of humility that started building in in the 60s and 70s, and then all of a sudden it was like, no, nah, we me, we don't want to be me. like that no yeah. more. Why should why shouldn't I be able to flaunt what I got? You know, and they thought that was a good thing, but look what it's got. Where, well, it's, where, name, where we've name gotten. successful hip hop groups nowadays. There's a few, but but there's groups really not. Are kind of non-existent it's as not well, as yeah. it's not a thing like it used to be. And I mean, oh, here yeah. I am promoting you, a solo project. Yeah, did, I was but, about to say, did do you um, um, feel a lot of uh, tension? Like, is there expectations that you guys had as a group that you never reached, and you maybe? You know, as Whiskey Blanket, we did a lot of really great stuff. We 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 traveled a lot. We got to play Red Rocks. We did, uh, you know. Okay, everybody, another really really long day. Long day at work and a couple hours put in at the radio station, KGNU. I want to babble a little bit about why I do this. One, I love music. That's the obvious one. I don't want to be famous. I really just want to work for myself. I don't want to be a pop star. I've seen glimpses of what that looks like and I really don't think I'm into it. Or even think it's possible at this point. So I really just want to get my music out there on a national level. I want to live on the road. I want to tour and play music all over the country and I just love it so much. I love the stage, I love to perform, I love to make music, I love to excite people, I love to make people think. I just want to work for myself, just eat, really. And have some sort of a roof over my head, hopefully it has wheels on it. Thank you all for watching, thanks for supporting this journey. I'm going to continue making these episodes. It's a really good way to document all the good times, everything that's happening, without just losing it in the blur of everything else. It's also a good way for family and stuff to keep up with me and see that I am actually working really hard. As much as I can do, I'm doing it. Everywhere I can be, I'm there. Try not to fall short, try not to spread myself too thin, but it happens. There's a lot going on. I'm really grateful there's a lot going on. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe.